Tour of Alberta for 2015 begins with the Pomeroy Inn and Suite Stage 1 and a bit of a unique wrinkle. It is a team time trial, 19.6 kilometers, and Tim, the wind will be an issue. Definitely a major factor in today's stage. It's going to be a, a team time trial is really all about keeping your, your speed up as a team. It's not necessarily one person against the clock. It's all eight riders in formation trying to tackle this course and go as fast as you can. You can see the course is relatively flat here on the outskirts of Grand Prairie. Trek Factory Racing from the United States. This team is one of the best in the World Tour, Trek Factory Racing. You know, coming here with a team where, you know, some of these riders, you look at someone like uh, Buck Moma, who came off of uh, an incredible top 10 at the Tour de France. He's looking to really build up towards the end of the year and hoping to, to have a good show at the uh, Richmond 2015 World Championships. Little international flavor, Team Katusha and race director, team director Dmitry Konishev told us that the team time try really isn't a priority for them. They're looking more at winning stage wins and, and you know, they'll give their best effort, but this may not be where their focus is. Now, you mentioned Trek and you just count there, three, six, they've lost two. Yeah, six riders. Now, you can get scored by the, the time of your fifth place rider. That's how they do all of the scoring for the entire race. So even if you finish with eight, your fifth place rider is the rider who will get that time. Very trying for any of these teams. As we see Buck Mulliman now getting across the finish line first, hoping that this finish for him is gonna put him in the yellow jersey with a great finish from Trek Factory Racing. And as you see, they will be the team to beat now as Trek finishes with just five at 22.56. Team Katusha trying to get into this stage one position, but really unable to do so as they're just going to slide into at least second position. But you can see the effort on these riders' faces. They definitely laid it all out there. They come in at 23.04, and they will be in second behind Trek Racing. Four of the eight members of this team were on the 2013 and 14 team time trial World Silver Medal squad. So they have experience in team time trial and they know the time that has been set down. The Trek set the 9K split. They, they're in at 22.56.88, and that has been well communicated to them. Trying to hold on these final couple hundred meters, but it's gonna to be tough. This, this time is gonna be incredibly close to Trek Factory Racing. They just have 10 seconds to make it around this final corner and cross the finish line. Swain Tuft still holding on the front, trying to get across there. Will they do it? The time to beat is 22.56.88. It looks like they were very close, but may not have been able to better Trek. Look at the small look on Trek. They're waiting to see the score. They gave it their all. Orica Green Edge, the final push. And all the Trek racers are on their feet. The smiles may say it all. It looks like Trek will take the team time trial.